Paralyze. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new week here on Body Bags. I'm your Saturday reviewer, the Retro Slasher, a.k.a. your former Tuesday reviewer, the Retro Slasher. That's going to take some time to get used to the saying Saturday instead of Tuesday. Uh, yeah, so the thing about that, I had to switch days because of work things and uh, Tuesdays is usually my day where I make other videos for my personal channel, uh, like those top 10 Tuesday videos and whatever. Uh, and sometimes it's just a lot of work to watch a movie and make two or three videos in one day. So, yeah, I switched to Saturdays because uh, Dave left the, uh, he's having another child. So congratulations to you, Dave. I know we don't really talk too much, but uh, congratulations to you again. And I was supposed to make my official Saturday debut last Saturday, but yet again, some work things came up and I had to stay late and I didn't have, wasn't going to have enough time to watch a film and review it in a timely span. So Derek was out of his kind of heart, but did me a real solid and filled in for me. It was kind of a last minute thing. I do appreciate it, homie. Uh, thanks for doing that. Um, I owe you one. So here I am, my official Saturday debut of the Retro Slasher here on Body Bags. Um, yeah, so... I got a film here from Wild Eye Entertainment that I'm going to review. Uh, this was kind enough to send this over to me to review. I figured what's a better place to do it than here on Body Bags. There's a lot more eyes here on Body Bags than my personal channel. So, uh, yeah. Make sure you look out for Wild Eye Entertainment. Real cool independent company that sends uh, sends out a lot of low-budget horror films. with Some of the best cover arts around. Now, the quality of their films are not always the best. I ain't going to lie. I'm not really a big fan of all of them. But... I wanted to check out this one because it's a slasher film from the year 2013, but it wasn't really released until this year, 2016, on any kind of format. Uh, they released it here on DVD, and it goes by the title of Bunny. Uh, yes, now the reason behind this film I wanted to pick it up, it reminds me of another film that I watched a few years ago uh, called Blood of Willow. It had like the same as that cover art, just a different looking killer on the cover. Uh, so it immediately piqued my interest. Uh, so as we always do first, guys, let's get into the review, uh, the synopsis of this film. Uh, starting off with what I read here on the back. It's real short. It should only take a few seconds. So following a Halloween party, a group of teens break into an abandoned toy and costume warehouse, a.k.a. a sex store, at the request of one of their friends. But little do they know, he's leading them to a slaughter at the hands of his mentally deranged mother, once trapped inside the bloody, deadly face of Face off begins. They kind of fucked up on their writing there. Yeah, it's okay. So basically, standard slashes film a bunch of teenagers after the party set on Halloween, which is kind of a cool thing. Head into this abandoned building, which happens to be a sex toy shop thingy. Uh, there it is, a maniac woman, aka the bunny killer, inside there, starting to pick them off one by one. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so getting to my actual thoughts about this. The first thing, I'm usually start off with the positives. I'm going to start off with the negative because it's kind of noticeable right away. I'm not sure what kind of camera to use to film this movie. It's kind of really got this like slow motion look to it. Kind of like a 2007 webcam. Kind of really weird looking. It's kind of threw me off for a little bit, but it took a little bit getting to used to of it. But I, it was a, it's not that bad. It's not the biggest complaint in the world. It's just really strange. Um, yeah, now... Getting into the acting, surprisingly, this is a low-budget slasher film. Acting's not too terrible. Now, the characters, they're not really likable or relatable to it. I honestly didn't really care for any of them. Uh, they're all kind of douchey and idiot. They're just standard, generic, modern teenagers, I suppose. Uh, but <laughs> anyways, uh, it's a slasher film. Let's get into the kills and the gore and effects and blood and all that. Uh, this has an extremely low body count. Uh, Really, there's only four main characters that break into this building. Uh, uh, so that leads to a kind of a low body count. Now, as to the kills, they're kind of unique, kind of cool. There's a lot of sex-oriented kills. Since the building they're in, it happens to be like a sex toy shop. Uh, kind of fits with the tone of the movie. Uh, let's just say somebody swallows a certain, their own certain body pot part, which was kind of nasty in a way, but still a really unique kill. Now, the gore and everything in this film... There's not a whole lot of gore. There's a decent amount of blood. Uh, it's okay. The effects and everything is not too bad. Uh, it's kind of fun, man. I kind of really, really enjoyed Bunny here from Wild Eye. It's not the greatest thing I've ever seen. Um, like I said, the camera work was a little shocky. I don't know what the hell kind of camera they used. Kind of gave me a headache. At the beginning, got used to it. But what can you do? Anyways, my overall thoughts on this film was uh, 
it's a decent watch. I highly do recommend you guys checking out this film. I usually haven't said that too much about many Wild Eye films, but uh, I suggest checking out this one. If I had to throw a rating on it, I'm just going to give it a 5.5 out of 10. Uh, it's a little bit better than average. Uh, suffers from a little bit of bad characters and weird camera angle, but cool story, cool killer. Low body count, but cool kills makes up for the low body count. I do recommend it. It's a fun film. Uh, that's been my review of Bunny Guys. I'll see you guys next Saturday with a brand new review. Be on the lookout for that. Until then, check out everybody else's reviews here on Body Bags, the place where horror lies. I'm the Retro Slasher, signing off.